Hi, um, a while back I posted the new cracker die and a cute little cracker you can make from it. And I also posted a longer version so that would fit like a whole tube of Smarties in. And um, I said I'd do a little video on how to do it. So um, it's not quite double, but uh, you could make it double. Um, I just made it longer so I can show you how to do that. This is the set of dies you get. So it's really good. It's literally one die. Plus you get the hearts, the stars, and all the labels. So what you need to do is you need to get um, the paper that you want to use. So I'm going to use this stripey one. And then I'm just going to mark on here the width of my cracker die. And then I'm just going to cut that. So, put that there. And then just cut my strip. Um, so that's my die. Uh, then I'm going to get my uh, die cutting um, base plates and I'm going to pop my die and my paper on here. So basically what you want to do, you first cut into the edge of your paper, like so. Okay, so your first cut needs to be the edge of your paper, so this is going to be the actual bit this is going to be the end of your cracker and then this will be um, the other end of my cracker but this is the way I'm going to extend it. So what we need to do is we need to take a bit of uh, removable tape. So I always use this um, tape. So we're going to pop this um, just to stick it down on here. So I might just stick it at the edges there. A bit of removable tape to stop it moving. Okay. And then I'm going to position this on my cutting plate um, so that this part overhangs the cutting plate. So like so. And I'm going to try and get it as straight as possible. So sometimes it's easier to line it up at the edges like so. So basically, your die cut will only happen if there's pressure. So it will only cut as far as the plate goes. So if we tape this onto the plate now. So this die will cut all the way up to, but not past there. So if I then make my sandwich up. So this is my magnetic cutting plate that goes on top. Like so, keep it all lined up. And then my next plate. So I'm just going to pass this through my die cutter. It'll be a bit of noise, I'm afraid. So when we bring it back, we take all our layers off, like so. And we peel this off. So it's cut perfectly. Go. So it's cut perfectly the first part of my cracker, but not the second part. So then I'm going to snip the waste off, like so. Now this is the tricky bit. So what you have to do now is you have to put the die back on top and you have to perfectly line up the die. So this time I want to cut this end, so you need to perfectly line up the die. So I overlap, so basically this bit, you have to have it overlapped with what you've already cut. So that's as far as I have cut this time. So I'm going to overlap it to here, like so, and then I'm just going to try and stick it down square. So you can see where you've cut because you've got the lines and assuming that everything's square like so there we go Send a bit on there. so that should now I've lined it up so it's square but remember I don't want to cut this bit so this time I need to do it the reverse so I'm just going to overhang Line it up nice and square with the edge. I'm going to overhang it this way. So the cutting, the end is over here. So I'm just going to stick that down on here. 
And I had another bit of tape, there we go. Get another bit of tape, stick this down here because we don't want it shifting. So now only this end will cut. Just put my layers back on. Sorry, bit of noise again. take our layers off this time we have perfectly cut the other end of our cracker but we haven't cut the middle section because there was no pressure so now we have a really long cracker okay so that would be the normal size that you get you can see how much longer I've extended it now in theory if you were very careful you could make it longer okay but this is kind of optimum length that i've got here this is not quite double so then to make your cracker you need to score all of the score lines so you can use a scorer i'm just at the moment using my hands so I fold all the score lines they're really easy to make these crackers I'll get my last one there we go okay then um, this first score line this way goes in and holds this way. Then the next one in the middle of the cracker folds out and then we have another back. Now it's often worth at this stage just getting your bone folder and giving it a bit of a run over. So same here, this side folds this way first, then it folds back on itself, and then it folds this way again. And again, it's worth running your bone fold all over that. So you can open it back up, fold it into tube shape. So this is your shape, and then you can just tie a bit of ribbon around these, like so. You can glue this if you want. Okay, so yeah, this one I have glued. I see I can glue them shut. You don't have to glue them shut. So to glue them, just glue this section. Here. So just one of the sides. A bit of glue on there. Fold that over. And that will stick. Alternatively, you can just tie it with a bit of ribbon to close it. There we go. There's our cracker. And then, like I say, you can just get a bit of ribbon and tie it around the middle. So then you have this kind of thing. And they're quite a nice size inside there. So if I put, you can see there's a stamping mark size. So you'd probably get, I think, a tube of Smarties in there. Um, get a couple of other little bits and bobs, maybe. Some small sweets lined up. Some, like, maybe, I don't know, I'd have to try it, but I think maybe three Lindor. Don't think a glue would fit in as a gift. No, glue won't quite fit. But they're nice little containers to put little table gifts in or birthday presents. They're just quite sweet. They look nice all lined up on your table for a party or at Christmas. Okay, hope that explains it. Thanks for watching.